So hey jolly babes, welcome back to my channel. So if you like me, struggle to do straight lines, then I'm going to show you a real simple nail hack how you can achieve these straight lines freehand. So I'm going to be using um, Kiki London's brand new full collection that they have just brought out. I have done swatches of these over on their Kiki London channel. I will leave a little eye card here so you can go and check that out after this video but yeah you want to check them out it's a gorgeous collection so these are the bases for the nails so you've got my two favorites out of the collection honeybee and miss mauve and these are the other colors from the collection that i'm going to be adding with the stripes so i'll just quickly show you so you've got royalty blue navy soldier girl and mr gray so you want to take a striping brush. Now, some people would just take this and go and flick it right down the nail and it'd be a perfectly straight line. Yeah, that's not going to happen here. <laughs> um, so I am just doing it as best as I can. I'm taking my time. Now, obviously, if you're doing this with your dominant hand, you might be able to get away with it. But as soon as you want to have matchy hands and have to do it with your non-dominant, it's never going to happen. So I've got a rough line here and I managed to kind of smooth it out and that's roughly what the thickness that I want it to be. But then it's dead difficult doing lots of lines together that were all the same thickness and this is where I'm going to show you the hack. You might not have even considered it to be a hack, you might already do it, I don't know. But it's real simple and it's a way for you to have your freehand lines but without the hassle. So you can see here, it's a lot thicker than the gray strip. It's wonky. So what you wanna do is get a cleanup brush and some isopropyl alcohol, and you're literally gonna just swipe it down the nail like so. So take your time, cause you don't wanna take too much off. So I've just got a rough line and then I'm gonna go back in. Obviously you can do it the other side as well. And there you go, you've got two lines that look similar to each other. Now granted, because I'm not great at freehand, this isn't absolutely perfect and spot on, but it's definitely, um, it definitely resembles straight lines. So, you know, that's good. <laughs> um, but you know, sometimes you can kind of put off in your head that you can't do something just because you can't do it like everybody else does it but you can just adapt it to your way. So I'm doing four lines here, all next to each other that are a similar sort of um, thickness. And it's, no, it's easier than you think to achieve. So basically I'm kind of obviously just doing like a DIY plaid design. So I'm coming in with the white now and I want this line to be a little bit thicker than the others. And then on the first quarter of the nail, I'm gonna be putting a line going uh, horizontally. And then I'm gonna be doing some lines at the bottom as well. And obviously cleaning up as I go. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I think the colors all go beautifully together. And yeah, it's not absolutely perfect, but it resembles straight lines and I'd like to know what you think about it. 
and whether this is something that you're going to try if you like me struggle with straight lines so now for the other design that i'm going to do on the other nails i am just um going down the middle of the nail with a small dotting tool and doing little dots and i'm basically kind of like mapping out the shape that i want this is also another way that you can help with drawing lines and drawing shapes trying to get them all equal and the same size and then in between that line that i have just done i'm going in the middle of those again with a small dotting tool and, and I'll be doing the same the other side as well. And then I'm coming in with the striper brush again and basically you are joining the dots so you go in and you're doing that you join all the dots together and you get that diamond shape and you know that they are going to be um, roughly the same sort of size all the way down because obviously you've mapped it out beforehand again you know you may struggle I know I struggle with this and this doing it this way kind of helped me get that shape that I wanted again not absolutely perfect I never claim it to be but you know it's not far off is it <laughs> But you know what, with practice and, you know, having these little hints and tips and hacks that can help you out. And with practice, you can get better. You know, these ones that do amazing nail art, they haven't just done that from day one, I hope. Otherwise, ugh, that's just not fair. <laughs> but yeah, they get better. And even when you think they're amazing, they get better and better each year because they're practicing those same techniques over and over again. And that's that famous saying, practice makes perfect. So with this, I am just coming in with the brush and just filling in those little dots again. You know, instead of trying to draw that solid shape all the way through, you've got the outline, then you're just filling it in. And then I'm coming in with the purple and just going and outlining the shape that I've already done. Obviously, try not to go over the green that you've already done because you want to see that as well. And it kind of just, I don't know, adds a bit of a shadow. You could just put it on the one side if you wanted. But I've gone ahead and done it the both sides. And I just thought it, it was nice and complemented all the colours together. So if you are in love with this collection and want to purchase it, then click the link that I've provided down below and it will take you to Kiki London's website where you can buy these polishes. And if you use Jellylicious at checkout, you will get 10% off your order. So I'd really appreciate if you're going to go and buy these um, polishes because of this review or my review over on Kiki London that you use the links provided because it, it gives traffic back to Kiki London as to, you know, sales that are coming through videos basically and i'd really appreciate it so that is it for today i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching take care bye